in this example, we're going to look at um, what length of air column you would want to produce, um, what length of air column you would want to produce a specific frequency. So you have a glass pot bottle on a nice sunny day, you decide to blow across the top of the bottle to produce a sound. When you blow across the top of the bottle, you observe a sound of 400 hertz to determine the length of the air column created by the pot bottle. So here's our pot bottle. What we're going to notice here is that we have a fixed and a free end reflection, making this a closed air column. meaning that the relationship between its length and the wavelength of sound produced in it is that. We know that we have a frequency of 400 hertz. And since the temperature is 20 degrees outside, we can find the speed of sound. Works out to 344 meters per second. So those two are useful because we can find the wavelength, and then with the wavelength, we can find the length of the pop bottle. The universal wave equation says the speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Well, the frequency in this case is 400 hertz. That's the wavelength. Wavelength equals 0 0.86 meters. Now with that in hand, I can come over here and I can determine how long my pop bottle must be. Now I could, I guess, use n equals 1 or n equals 2. It's far more likely to be the n equals 1 value. But let's just compute both of those and see which one looks a little bit more realistic. If you remember the equation from just looking at the patterns, you don't have to go through using the whole big equation. You could just write L equals lambda over 4. But if you don't remember, that equation is always handy. So that would be 0 0.215 meters or a 21 centimeter pop bottle. That is reasonable. Let's use the n equals 2, though, and see how that works out. Again, if you remember the pattern and you know that it goes to 3 lambda over 4, you don't have to put the previous equation, but again, it's helpful if you can't remember. So keeping in mind that air columns or strings produce their fundamental frequencies a lot more than they produce other frequencies, it makes sense that it would be the n equals 1 answer, but also Doing the mathematics and looking at it, a 21 centimeter pop bottle makes a lot more sense than a 64 centimeter pop bottle, or yeah, 64 centimeter pop bottle, which would be very large. So I'm going to say that the length of my bottle is 21.5 centimeters or 0.215 meters.